We went 2-2 two two yesterday for minus 0 0.2 units, but we will bounce back today. Are you still with me? What's up, everyone? My name is Chris, and you are now rocking with the 5 Tool Podcast. We are a daily baseball betting show that touches on just about everything you want to know about Major League Baseball from a betting perspective. Today is Wednesday, May 31st, and we have a stacked MLB slate to choose from, and we've selected four games for you that we believe have the best chance to make us some money. For those of you who are new to the 5 Tool Podcast for the first time, uh, welcome. Thanks so much for tuning in. We run this show a little bit differently than most betting shows. Each episode, we offer four selections. We offer a side, a total, a first inning prop bet, and a wild card selection that could be anything that's widely available to be wagered on. Could be a home run prop, a pitcher strike prop, a second uh, side or total play, anything that we feel has an edge to uh, make some money on. All plays are tracked. They're uh, linked to a Google Doc sheet that's linked in the description. Give it a click if you want to follow along with the day-to-day -day record. If you guys haven't already subbed to the YouTube channel, please go ahead and do so now so you don't miss out on any great content. And if you could drop a like on the video, I'd very much appreciate that. Now, without further ado, let's get into today's four selections. The first play we have for you is the side selection. We are taking the Philadelphia Phillies on the money line, minus 120 over the New York Mets. Look, sports betting is weird in the sense that you can fade uh, a team one night and then go back to them the next night with your hard-earned money and trust them to get the job done. That's the position we find ourselves uh, with the Phillies. As we had the Mets team total yesterday, we expected them to go off against the Phillies, but essentially it was a 2-0 win for the Mets, and the Phillies basically didn't do a, a, a damn thing. Now we trust them in this game with Aaron Nola on the bump. He's coming off a rough performance, but I'm expecting a bounce back for him against the Mets team that simply doesn't hit well at home for whatever apparent reason. The Phillies, we know they're going to want to bounce back in a big way after being shut out uh, yesterday 2-0 against this very Mets team. And against Carlos Carrasco, who's been absolutely brutal so far this season, they should be able to feast uh, all game long. Carlos Carrasco, he's given up a ton of walks this season. He's very hittable. And I do like the uh, Philadelphia Phillies power uh, hitters in this lineup to take Carrasco deep early and often. Give me the Philadelphia Phillies on the money line, minus 120. The second play we have for you is our total selection. We're taking the Colorado Rockies. Arizona uh, Diamondbacks over 10 runs at odds of even money. Look, yesterday's game uh, finished 5-1, stayed well under the posted total, but that's with two good pitchers on the bump. Today we have two uh, bum pitchers on the bump for each team in Vanilson Lamette and Tommy Henry. As both these pitchers simply are very hittable, they give up a ton of free passes uh, like they're going out of style, and I expect both offenses to find um, you know the score sheet early and often in this one. We expect a high-scoring game to somewhere, uh, similar to a 9-7, 9-8 type ball game. And we're going to take the over 10 runs at even money odds. The next play we have for you is our first inning prop bet. And we are taking the yes run in the first inning in the Arizona-Colorado game. The odds are minus 130. Look, normally I don't give out uh, the same total and first inning uh, prop bets uh, on the same game. But this is too good to pass up. I have this lined upwards of 160. The Arizona Diamondbacks, Colorado Rockies are going to feast off these two pitchers, Vanessa Lamette and Tommy Henry. Both guys give up a ton of walks, a ton of free passes, and both teams are ranked uh, in the top six in terms of hits per game. I expect hits early in this one, and I expect at least one run to cross in the uh, first inning alone. Give me yes, run in the first inning at odds of minus 130. The final play we have for you is our wild card selection. We're taking the Atlanta Braves team total under 5.5 at odds of minus 115. Look, the Atlanta Braves are on the verge of getting swept by the worst team in possibly the history of baseball, the Oakland A's. They've managed just three runs in the first two games of the series, and they just simply look checked out for the entire uh, duration of the series. We've seen crazier things in baseball happen than, you know, the worst team beating the best team. That's why they play the game. But the Braves, the way they're going about their plate appearances in this one, they simply don't look interested. I don't expect them to get swept. I expect them to win this game, but I do expect them to be um, you know, held at the plate to a low run total. Could be a 3-1 type ball game. We're going to take them under 5.5 team total runs at odds of minus 115. That wraps up today's episode of the 5 Tool Podcast. Thank you guys so much for listening. If you want to help support the podcast, please drop a like on the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any great content, and share these pics with your friends on social media so we make, can make some money together. The next available episode of the 5 Tool Podcast will be out on Wednesday night. Until next time...